Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the heap queue module in Python, uh, as well as briefly what a heap is. Um, I'll leave that more to your computer science education, but I figured I'd introduce the topic and show you how the heap queue module can help you write a priority queue. Uh, so we're going to start with a little bit of Wikipedia here. <laughs> this actually reminds me of my <laughs> college classes. There were a lot of lectures that were given out of the Wikipedia pages. But anyway, uh, what a heap is in computer science or in, in I guess, practical programming, uh, a heap is a data structure for representing a tree, uh, but it is typically done in a contiguous chunk of memory, uh, you know, an array or a list or something like that. Uh, and the, the usefulness of heaps is that they are a compact representation of a tree, uh, but also they have some nice properties about insertion, uh, finding the lowest element, finding the highest element, that sort of thing. Uh, the way they tend to work is uh, you either have a min heap or a max heap. This particular example is a max heap where the largest element is the first element in the uh, heap array. And then the next two elements are the left and right child of the, of the array. And then the next four elements are the left and right of each of these two elements. So you can see the, the left of 19 is here and the right of 19 is here. The left of 36 is here and the right of 36 is here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so it kind of spreads out in, in that direction as you add elements to it. Um, and it, it rebalances itself by swapping elements and uh, insertion involves, you know, appending and then swapping elements until the, the heap is, is well balanced. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's what a heap is. And a heap is often used in a heap sort, which is where heap sort gets its name from, uh, because it has nice properties for sorting as well. Okay. But uh, let's talk about the heap queue module in Python. The heap queue module is a helpful module for taking a Python list and implementing heap insertion and, and deletion and this, those sorts of things. Um, let me just show you the basics of it and then we'll go into some of the other methodologies that you might use for uh, a heap. So we are going to import heap queue, uh, which is just a standard library module, nothing to install here. And uh, we can just make any sort of list and that is what heap queue will use as its base uh, value to stick things into. And most of the methods come from directly from the heap queue module. So there is a heap push element or function, which pushes an element into our list. So let's say we wanted to insert one and two and four and 10 and six or five or six or whatever. Uh, this can push a whole bunch of elements into our heap. If we look at our heap now, you'll see that it's not exactly sorted. Uh, but then the main heap invariant is that the minimum value is always going to be the first value here. So Python implements a min heap, whereas the Wikipedia example was a max heap. Um, and, you know, these are the children of, of one, and then these are the children of two, and this is the children of four. Uh, and it roughly maintains its sorted invariant here. Uh, now, the cool thing is, if we want to do the opposite of heap push, we can do heap pop. And that will give us the lowest element in this list, and it will reshuffle the list for us. If we do heap pop here, uh, heap with two piece, <laughs> I can spell. Uh, so this will get us out our lowest element. You'll see that that has shifted our list a little bit to be, uh, in fact, it reshuffled these values here to maintain the heap invariant. And if we do this again, you'll see that we get that next lowest value, et cetera, et cetera. So this is always going to give us our lowest value until there is nothing left, and then it gives you an index error. Uh, and these are the two main methods that you'll use with heap queue. Now, there are a few more in here. So there's a heapify, which allows you to take an input list and turn it into a heap. Uh, there's heap push pop, which is slightly more efficient than push and pop because it can uh, replace out an element instead of having to pop one and shift every element over. Uh, so this can be slightly more efficient. There's also heap replace, which is similar to heap push pop, but uh, doesn't always, um, you know, if you push the smallest element, heap push pop will also just give you that element right back, whereas heap replace will not necessarily do that. So sometimes, sometimes you want one over the other, depends on what you're doing. Um, it also implements some helpers for merge sort, as well as grabbing the nth largest and nth smallest elements from your uh, list. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. That's that's heap queue. Uh, but I want to show you how to make a priority queue using this sort of structure. 
Now the easiest way to do this is to represent your list elements as the priority being some sort of integer. So let's say, uh, you know, priority one uh, is our, you know, lowest priority. And then your whatever work item you need to do here. So I don't know, maybe your work item is some sort of string. Silly example, but uh, you know, let's just assume that's our uh, work item here. So you'll make your list as before. You'll do heap q dot heap push. And in this case, we're going to push onto our list the priority, which is going to be uh, the first element of this tuple, and then our value here. Now, the important thing that I've done here is I've set the priority first, and this is because heap push is going to use this as a, or it's going to try and compare this against all the other elements in our list and use this as our sorting key. So as long as we put this earlier in the tuple, that'll make it sort that way. And so if we you know, put five and bar and three and baz, and then if we pop items off, heap q dot heap pop list, so we get one foo, then we get three baz, and then we get five bar. So it's it allows us to order things using uh, priorities. The other cool thing is you can use any sort of sortable element for this part here. I just used a tuple because it's convenient, uh, but you could also use a class which implements less than, or you could use uh, my, per <laughs> my personal favorite for doing this, which is to just use a name tuple. Uh, so if you had like Q item named tuple, you're gonna have priority int and then work item stir or whatever it is so then you could have your list here and do heap q dot heap push uh, list and q item at priority equals one and work item equals foo uh, similar to what we did before so if we put a couple of these in here and then if we do heap q dot heap pop, we'll see that we get those q items in order. Um, but yeah, this is this is what I like to do when making a priority queue. And of course, you could wrap, you could make your own class and wrap the list up and do it that way, um, or you can just use these free floating functions, whichever works best for you. But anyway, that's the heap queue module. Uh, hopefully, you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.